Hi, it's Rachel here. I hope everybody is well. Uh, as you know, I've been really busy um, making things and I think I'm finally ready to um, show what I have for my giveaway, which is really exciting. I've just put everything aside uh, today except for my um, a couple of order things and I just got it all done. So... Um, Prize number one will be uh, this ring binder. Now, uh, this is the back here. And this is going to be, or is, a um, recipe binder. And I've done it like mine. I don't think you saw the cover of mine because I made a whole lot of ring binders the other day. So I'll just show you again what mine was like quickly. And... Um, so I have all my extra little bits in there. I might put those in the back because they'll fall out. They're less likely to fall out. Um, <clears throat> so it was a bit like this, um, if you remember. And then I put random bits and pieces of um, cardboard and pages. And um, I glued together book pages and collaged on top of them. And then I have a few floating bits here because mine, I haven't put any mini pockets in mine yet. So you see, I've got plenty of space to write. So I haven't prepared it exactly the same, but nearly. So this is the ring binder cover. And then, um, <clears throat> sorry, I've had a, as you know, I've had a sore throat and now my voice is going funny. So I put the same converter sort of um, conversion charts in. I also um, printed out these. I found this was a free printable on um, from a, a blog and I thought maybe this was nice um, to use as your tabs. So I haven't put any tabs on the page separators and um, I made this cute sort of um, so you could stitch in some pages here and make this a little recipe booklet thought that's super cute um, and I've just the so the I've just pinned it onto the page separator so the page separators are the bigger um, Tim Holtz papers but they don't have tabs on them because I thought you could do that um, and put them in the order that you like so um, I haven't put any um, blank paper in uh, I just thought you could use your scraps and do that like I did with mine um, but I have prepared a whole lot of um, cards and some of them I've put old um, book pages on some just recycled paper um, that's lined or grid so some are grid as well but and they're recycled and I put lots of quite a lot of pockets in this so you could have lots of space so you can you can put in the extra pages um, and then these some of the cards I didn't um, put anything on the back because then you can decide what you want to do with them um, you might want to create another pocket or I don't know make a book I don't know so what I did do also was glue pages together old book pages so um, obviously you would collage this one like I collaged mine I didn't do them for you I thought you should do that um, and I have the video um, where I showed how I did that I think so if you were um, wondering how you can go back and watch that um, and then some of them are plain, so you can easily write. I sewed some of the, um, is it Dreams, etc., I think it was the kit that I bought. Um, I sewed some of the pages together, as one of my subbies had um, suggested, which was a great idea when I asked for help. And then these are more pages for you to collage and write on, because they're fun to use. And, I mean, of course, you can take out anything. And then a couple of the pages I printed on cardstock, and then I put already um, some grid paper or... Yeah, I think grid or lined, I'm not sure which, or both. Um, and then there's more cards for you to write recipes. Some of them are printed bigger so you can, it's easier to fill out, you know, you'll be able to fill it easier um, with your recipes. So that's it. And this, like, you could um, stick somewhere and have a tuck spot or something like that. Uh, this is another one that I haven't embellished. So the ones that are clipped on, I haven't done anything on the back. So I'll just flip through quickly, otherwise we'll be here all day. This is another one. That came from the Graphics Fairy. Uh, so there's plenty of these pages. You can take them out. You can put in whatever you like. Um, this is just a basis for you to work with. So some more 
I think these all came from, oh, that one I did a little bit of collage -y. Before I got into a panic about all the work I've got to do, I did do a bit of collage on them, but um, that's just to give you an idea. So, um, and then that one's not in bed, it doesn't have anything on the back. So you could remove them if you don't want them. And it's just pretty similar all the way through. Here's some more. So that one has a little bit of pretty collaging. That one, oh, that one does too. So there's a couple in there that are collaged and a couple that aren't. And then, so this is really, oh, there's a pocket I could put something in there. Um, so this is really a basis for you to start um, your own recipe binder. It's already quite full, so you may want to take a few of, a few page of those um, book pages out and use them somewhere else um, and put some regular paper in. And that, here's another spot that you can... Um, you can tuck things in and it's um it's one of those pretty um binders like what mine was with all the flowers on it i think i can't really show it to you maybe i'll just pull it out no i'm not going to do it because it's already full so yeah the cover can come off and it can be washed so that's prize number one then number two is going to be this um little um it's kind of like an ephemera folder so this is the back and this is the front and it has a lovely linen um, trim closure and this pretty Mrs. Cog image and a beautiful vintage embroidered flower. And so inside I created a pocket and I did mention that the second prize was going to be some of my ephemera that I've made. So I created this pocket, which I really love. This was a piece of um, trim. I don't think it's particularly old. It might be vintage. It was white and I just mucked around with some writ dye and dyed it and I really like that colour so these I think I made this a while ago so some tags that I made and then this I think I made in one of my previous videos when I was showing how I use my um, printables and then this cute little one I made the other day and then I stitched in a um, envelope I didn't decorate it I thought you could do that um, I don't know how the envelope will go because it's stitched. I don't know if it will tear, but you could tear it out and um, you could also stitch in uh, pages if you wanted to be able to write in there. Or you could um, take this out and punch um, the holes in the way you do for like a Midori, um, what are they called, traveller's notebook. Because I think it's probably big enough to take a traveller's notebook in it if you wanted to do that. Um, and then I've just put a few little bits of pieces in for you to play with. And then another pocket here and some of my handmade. And this is, oh, I just love this. I use it sparingly. I bought it at Pepper Green before they closed down in Berrima. And, um, and, you know, you rarely see a pretty blue one like that. So this is a tag that I made. A few tags there. This one. And then I love this. This one I made when I was showing my printables. And so I made two pockets there I put some a few things in there and then that's a little notepad so that's prize number two and I really like these little um, kind of ephemeral sort of wallets might make some more so they I mean as I mentioned you could write here you could take this out just tear it down the center like you tear out pages and it will disappear and put pages in if you want to you could also leave it and you could attach pages down here as well. That's another option. So um, anyway, um, let me just put those in there. Oh, and this is something cute that you could attach to a page and then you can flip it down and write on it. And you could just attach it like here and here and then it could be another tuck spot as well. So that's giveaway number two. I'm doing a few things because I kind of missed the boat with my giveaways when I was, you know, when you um, reach the milestones of subscribers, like 300, 500, 1,000, I missed them all really. So I thought I'll do it all in one go and give away three prizes. Um, I haven't, I'm just about to go and print them all out. Um, I'm also, I, the third prize is a full set 
of my printables and I might add in a few bonuses that I haven't um, published yet. So I've got five digital kits in my store at the moment and I will be doing more. I have been scanning but I want to scan some of my really old letters. I've got some amazing old letters so I want to scan those first and then I'm going to start making more digital kits. It might be after my big craft fair that I'm going to. Um, so I will print out um, all of those, the five digital, so that's quite a lot, probably weigh a lot, um, and that that someone will win those as well. And so the way to participate, obviously, is to leave a comment on this video, and um, maybe you could tell me um, what you like to journal about, because I'm not a journaler, and, and I'd love to know what um, people who do journal, what they love to journal about, and Maybe, you know, like, do you have different journals for um, different things? And so, yeah, leave a comment answering that. And then um, you need to be a subscriber, obviously. And um, and that's all. So I will check um, if wh whoever the winner is, if they're a subscriber. And um, I think it will end, like, I'll do the drawing on Tuesday. So I'll probably post this video tonight which today is friday or tomorrow so um yeah and i'll do the draw on tuesday i think maybe monday no tuesday so that's all from this oh one other thing i have um two more i've print made a whole lot of ring binders for my craft fair and then two i've kept aside um that i'm going to put in my store tonight so that's ring binder number one which I absolutely love. That fabric my mum gave me, it's the most beautiful linen. It's not particularly old, but it's really beautiful. Beautiful antique ticking, um, antique lace. And then that's Tilda and just a, it's a linen cotton, but I love using those because they're very textured. They're quite rough. They're not fine linens, but I like them because they're textural. And then this is the second one here. And these come with a few pages in them as well. And they're the pretty floral ones like my one that I that you would have seen my recipe one before I um I I put the cover on it and um these are also great I use these for um I mean if you're writing patterns or if you're doing a course and you want to take notes um like I use I have one where I put all my keywords and my hashtags that I have to use because I can never remember and and that sort of thing so um yeah, I really love the ring binders. I just want to have a whole row of them covered. And I've only covered a couple of mine because I'm always um, selling them. So I need to cover a couple, of, a couple of others and then they all stand in a row and are very pretty. Anyway, that's the end of that video. So this video is about the giveaway. And um, I really hope that um, some of my really faithful um, subscribers win something. And I will be back soon with some flip-throughs. Thank you. Bye.